Good morning. Well, we finally got back in the shop. We got a lot going on. It's spring. It's busy. It's busy at work. It's busy in life. And uh, we just got to start checking boxes here. So today I got some love for the old plasma table here. We have to install. There's more parts. We have to install this actual Langmuir machine torch holder so I can take my jerry rig hose clamp set up off there and have a nice legitimate torch holder and I'm gonna replace my silicone splash protector these are just funnels I get off Amazon uh, the last one burnt down and I mean it literally lit on fire I didn't know that you could burn silicone but or maybe it wasn't made out of what they said it was made of, but it definitely lit on fire and that's what all this white stuff on the table is. I got to cut a part real quick here, a little test part that I want to show you guys. And uh, then I actually need to, it's time we drain this table and cleaned it all up and all that good stuff. So that's what we're going to do today. If you hear some chirping and whatnot in the background, I'll show you what all we got going on. This is why I haven't been in the shop lately. The timing just worked out such with the late spring that uh, these little fellers had to uh, take up residence in my shop for some number of weeks until the temperature gets a little better outside. And they are, what are they, about a week and a half old now? They're doing pretty good. They really like to poop in their water. That's one thing I can tell you for sure. I don't know why. I don't even know how they do it, but they are all about it. So I got to clean their water dish. That's on my morning chores to do here. Anyway, that's what we got going on. We got no room in the shop to do nothing. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and do it anyway. So here we go. That's much better. That holds the torch a lot better. And boy, I'm glad to have that funnel back on there. I was running it for about a month there without that funnel on there and the amount of splash that gets up on the rails and in the z-axis control there is just unreal and it cakes on and so i'm gonna have to drain it later on today clean everything up but i was able to do what i wanted to do which was cut out my test piece for this xl 76 but uh i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do with the spikes on it yet i was just more going for fit on the saw but uh I think I might keep it light, you know. That bottom spike's really just there to be a kickstand for the bigger bars. But, man, do they sit proud. That's with the bar jacked all the way up. I realize that's the wrong bar, but I got the old cotter pin in there to kind of tighten it up a bit. I think that's about where it would sit in real life. Maybe down a little bit. But uh, that's a good-looking unit. Boy, are those good-looking saws. I got it all flipped up here. Ellie, you can look, but don't touch. Canine wants to have a look at them chickens. What I'd really like her to do is become chicken guardian. Anyway, so I think I'm hoping by the end of the week I got a prototype I'm happy with. But not all about buttoning it up today. I got lots of yard choring to do and finish my interior house projects. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, folks.